Hey guys, here in the backyard of Drift Rates Q and uh, going to show a quick video of the new Drifter oil skin coats. So, uh, this is our, our second version. Been playing around a lot with them the last few months and uh, now we've got it to wear. I'm really happy with it. So, just thought I'd show you. It's warmed up a little bit since last time I did a video. It was freezing cold before. But um, yeah, so that's the coat there. Uh, the difference on this one from the, la the first one I had, I've made the sleeves a little bit longer and also taken a bit out of the depth here. So that's just perfect for me now. Um, now I'm six foot tall, slim, tall and slim. And uh, this coat here I've got on is a small. All right, so I'd normally be an M. But uh, there is a size chart that we're going to put on the website. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm wearing a, uh, an S at the moment. So it just fits me perfect. I had the, uh, the medium size before when I was out bush a little bit, doing some different things. Up in the tops doing the Respect the Bush video. I had a lot of coats underneath it. Uh, but, you know, and it would fit it okay, but it was always a little bit big. So this one's just fitting me a lot nicer. I can still wear a jumper underneath here. Uh, so I'm basically an S. Um, yeah, so pretty much uh, these are made in, in Brisbane, all right? The material on the outside is, uh, is from Wax and Virtus Textiles You're down in Rutherford. Our good friends James and his company down there. So we buy this material directly from James, from the source. James has been making this wax converted, uh, wax con material uh, for over 40 years. The original manufacturer of this material. And uh, something pretty cool also is the internal liner this is also, this is the unwaxed uh, material. Same material, but unwaxed. Okay, you see a pocket in there. Also a pocket internal on this side here. Great for your phone. All right, so I'm not sure if anybody else is doing it like that with a original Australian unwaxed internal lining and the waxed outside lining. The press studs we're using are also drifter ones, so all the press studs have got the drifter, you know, logo one. Pretty cool. And so we've got a pocket at the top here, breast pocket. We've got a pocket here, great for your keys or your phone. And also you've got side pockets there for your hands. So it's great. You can put your keys in here on the top, on the outside, and have your hands warm in here like that. Uh, all the coats are going to come with this lining. Now, it's not a sheepskin, it's a synthetic material. Okay, We, we could use uh, a lamb's wool, but you know, there's, it gets very expensive and it's quite difficult to work with. So, you know, um, and also, you know, if lamb's wool gets wet, it, it takes a while to dry. This is synthetic, but it's very warm. You know, if I was going up bearing tops now, if I had the vest and also this coat, uh, I really wouldn't need much else, you know. So, uh, they are very warm. The liner you can take out, as you can see, just unbutton it out. And you know, the other night we were camping as well, and it was just a little chilly, so we'd actually just pulled the liner out and wore it as as a vest, which you can also do. So that's the coat. Um, yeah, pretty cool that we can have a Drifter branded oilskin coat. Classic Australian company, classic Australian product. The Wax and Virtus Textiles, classic Australian company, been around for a long time with history dating right back to the first fleet and even further. Uh, so to be associated with that company is a real honour. And, uh, you know, Drift has been going, of course, 20 years. So to combine these two companies together and to get a coat that is made in Brisbane, you know, we've got Australian companies, we've got made in Australia from Australian material. So we can't get better than that for a classic Australian product, the all skin coat. You know, I've been in America a lot and uh, you know, they're just really in awe of our beautiful oil skin coats. And uh, I've got a really cool photo of, of over there. Uh, I could post it up later on, but I was with, you know, maybe six or eight Americans uh, riding in the mountains. They all had oil skin coats and all had Akubra hats. There was about eight of them and all different Akubra hats. It was quite a classic photo. And all coats, you know, we, we, we make the best oil skin coats in the world and classic Australian products. So really cool that we can associate ourselves and launch this Aussie product. Now, also, it'll come with the hood. All right, so the hood's, um, it's gonna be an extra. Okay, they won't all come with the hood, but they will come with the buttons where you can 
uh, clip that on. You know, of course, if it's raining heavy, you don't want the water going down your back. If I've got my Cooper on, um, you know, if I've got my Cooper on, I can, um, you don't need the hood, but otherwise, look at that. So, should have brushed my hair, but it's uh, been a big day. So you've got a nice hood, which means that uh, you're not going to get water running down your back. A couple little drawstrings there, you know. Uh, the other thing I really like about this design is uh, uh, this beautiful big collar. Put it up like that, really warms your ear. And you know, if the wind's blowing, it's great. We're down at Mum's farm a little while back, and you had this collar turn up. It's an icy wind in orange. It was like four or five degrees. We were mustering some. Well, not really mustering. We're trying to get a bull out of a paddock, and um, it was sleeting and typical Blaney orange weather in the winter, freezing cold, and it was beautiful to have this tucked up like that. So, yeah, we're not going to have any other branding. There will be a, a branding on the inside. Uh, it's not on this coat. This is only the second or third prototype, but it will have a nice, uh, you know, uh, patch on the inside. Okay. So this is just sort of a generic patch, you know, but it's, uh, what does it say? Made in Australia using all skin fabric. Okay, so it'll have our brand on there, on the inside, on a synthetic sort of leather looking little patch. You know, once it comes into summer, no problems to uh, take the liner out. Look at that beautiful lining. Okay, 100% cotton, you know, canvas, uh, you know, canvas is, uh, you know, 50-60% uh, nylon uh, to give it strength. You know, this certainly doesn't have the strength that canvas does, but if you used canvas for a jacket like this, it wouldn't breathe and you'd get, you know, too hot, for example. So that's why it's 100% cotton. You'll notice old dries of bones, they rip a little bit easy. That's because they're all cotton. 100% cotton inside and out. Okay, that's a great, you know, spring or autumn, even a bit of summer jacket. Okay, maybe not so much summer, but a spring or autumn jacket just to keep the, the chill off you. And uh, if it's pouring rain in the summertime, well, you can wear that as well. So that's it, yeah, nice clip out uh, liner. And as you can see as well, if it's just a little chilly around camp, nothing to stop you putting that on as well. Um, just like that. So, yeah. You know, very light and very warm. I better show you the zipper. I didn't show you that. Now we're going to try and get these coats, we've, we've ordered these, they're going to be here in about two weeks. Um, we've ordered them, we're going to try to get stock available in the three stores, Gosford, uh, Brendale and HQ store. We'll have a rack made up with the main sizes and maybe even in our new uh, Heatherbrae store that might be coming. So, if you wanted to try one on, you can, uh, you can do that, but I would say yeah, look at the size chart and possibly order a size less than yourself, less than what you'd normally wear. All right, so very good quality zip, steel zipper. Now the other one we've got is the vest. Okay, now with the vest, this is made for keeping you warm. And That is a really warm vest. Okay, so it's more of a, you know, cold nights and winter vest. Uh, the liner is, is built into it. All right, down the track, it's possible we'll have a, a liner, a, a vest, uh, just on its own. But for the moment, this is made to keep you warm. So if you wore that underneath um, your your coat, you're going to be nice and toasty warm. You're not going to need much else really. So a little bit tighter fitting. Again, this is a small. And. Uh, that's uh, how it looks. Still got a nice big collar. And yeah, pockets. 
two pockets here, a little bit more simple. Yeah, if I wanted to combine that with a coat, I still could. And if it's the middle of winter, if I was up the bearing tops now, like only, you know, I think it was only, was it last weekend or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, there was about three, four, no, two or three inches of snow at the bearing tops. If I had my liner and this here, I wouldn't need anything else. And being slim, I feel the cold, but uh, that's all I would need, you know. So, and you know, this has still been a small, both both a small size, still plenty of room to to fit this. Uh, you know, I don't like wearing a bulky, really bulky jacket, so it's just slim enough for me, um, but I can still wear something underneath. All right, so that's uh, our dries it. That's not dries it. So that's our, that's our oil skin coat range, the Drifter oil skin coat, and. You know, very cool that we'll be able to um, release these and have them available very soon. We will try and keep sizes in stock as best we can, but uh, from sizes from 2XS to 4XL, there's a lot of sizes. Keeping stock in four locations of all those sizes is, you're talking 50 grand just to carry, you know, a few in each size. So the worst case is going to be um, a back order and we'll order it, but you know, we're, they're getting made very close in Brisbane. Um, they, they've got a pretty quick turnaround. So the worst case, it might be a week or two weeks to, to get your coat. A little bit like the, the seed covers we get, you know, they've got to be ordered. So um, if we don't have a, a size in stock, it won't be long to be able to get it. Righto. What I was going to do is, um, actually while we're here, this is the act I had the other day. And a lot of people were commenting. That's a um, key chuck. So this is sort of actually a mate of mine gave this to me. I was working as a, a timber cutter, really, in the, the KD gold mine near Orange. And it was funny. I was, I was working as a as a station hand, really, on a big property there at Cadia, and uh, I was mustering sheep, watching the drillers come in, and then maybe 12 months later, I was working. Um, for a company, Austrim, um, and we had to clear all the trees from, from the big hill where, where they now have, have open cut mines. So, a mate of mine there, Mick, he gave me this axe, and it's sort of Keech's uh, classic Australian axe. It's it's really, uh, they make these for the, um, you know, the axemen at the Sydney show. It's like a, a racing axe, um, and it's quite old. So, yeah, pretty cool. And I got Kai to clean it up the other day and put an edge on it, and. You know, beautiful old axe. So, you know, if you're chopping in the in the show, look at that. So, the thing what I was going to do is a uh, little uh, uke over there. It's actually the same as one of these. It's, these are just a cabbage gum. Nice looking tree, but the timber's not that good. And uh, obviously, we've cut this down a while ago. What I was going to do is uh, cut it down with the, the uh, steel chainsaw. <laughs> So, I've got the 200C, haven't really used it very much, and I've been wanting to cut that tree down for a year or so, we might go have a play with it. Alright guys. <laughs>